This is a quick peek into the contents of a Kessler Science 5e lesson. The materials are numbered in order so that they correlate to each phase of the 5e method. For more information on this method, there is a webinar in your professional development course. Materials with the number one are for the engagement phase. These include activities and video suggestions to get your students engaged. There's a list of engagement activities for class and teacher use, along with the objectives and misconceptions. Then there's a PowerPoint and a PDF version of an objective you can display and a set of word wall cards for vocabulary terms in this lesson. Materials with the number two are for the exploration phase. These include the station labs. There are versions for in-class use, digital use with standalone files, and digital use with Google Form answer sheets. There are videos explaining those options in the to exploration, downloads, and directions section of each topic. There is also an in-depth webinar on the Station Lab concept in your professional development course. We have included both on-level and modified versions of each Station Lab as well. Materials with the number three are for the explanation phase. They include presentations and interactive notebooks. This phase helps solidify what students have learned from their exploration and also helps to correct any misconceptions they may still have. There are presentation versions for in-class use, digital use with integrated uh, interactive notebook activities, and multi-platform use for resources such as Edpuzzle or Pear Deck. They include digital INBs as well. There are more in-depth videos explaining those options in the three explanation, downloads and directions section of each topic. Materials that start with a number four are for the elaboration phase. These include the student choice project within the 5e lesson. However, there are additional options you can use as well. During this phase, students who are showing mastery of a topic can move into the projects and experiences that build on their knowledge, while students that need more help can work in small groups to improve their understanding. The student choice projects are great, especially in a remote learning environment, because so many of them involve just normal school materials or whatever materials might be at hand, and they're designed for students to do them independently. Sometimes different projects are worth different point values, so students can do a combination of shorter, easier projects or one larger project. Because of your membership, you also have access to other materials within the membership that make great elaboration activities. Inquiry labs are hands-on experiences that you can do with your students if your classroom allows it, or you can demo the experiments for students, live or by video and have them write down results and draw conclusions from the experiment. Several of them are what we call paper labs, where the only materials needed are the printouts themselves. Those are easily distributed to every student for a hands-on experience, even when distance and materials are an issue. STEM challenges are another option for this phase. Again, many of them just use whatever materials are available at hand so they can easily be done from home. Materials that start with a number five are for the evaluation phase. They include homework and assessments. Those materials include a homework assignment you can use for review and two versions of an assessment, one that's multiple choice and one that is open-ended. Some of the units also include crossword puzzles for review. Check the alignment guide for escape rooms that are relevant to the unit you're teaching. They have been updated for distance learning and make for a great concept review. So that's an overview of the Kessler Science 5e lesson. Click on a topic to see previews of the files and download the files you need to get started.